Hi everybody, it's Christy. I'm working on a couple memory decks cards and I thought I would just share with you the process. Um, I do a swap pretty regularly with my friend Anna and I'll put a link below to Anna's channel. And one of the things that we um, like to swap quite often are uh, memory decks cards. And so these are from Studio Light. They're in a company in the Netherlands. And so if you just uh, search Studio Light, their web address is studiolight.nl for the Netherlands. And it's right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they have quite a, a good selection of a memory decks card dies and you get all your pieces to layer together and I love it. So you have your base and then you've got a matting piece and then your, your main focal piece and you can die cut all your layers or just, a, you know, one of them. Um, if you just wanted to use the card, the memory decks card base, you can, but I love these. And so I used craft card stock to cut them out. And then I'm <clears throat> knocking through my Stamperia Imagine paper. And so um, I cut out my um, decorative paper. Two layers are out of that. And then I inked the edges and then I just glued them down. And once you glue them down, I mean, it's a really nice, um, sturdy surface. And so I just always think that that's really cool. And, um, and I did use vintage photo to go around the edges and I didn't do a heavy inking, but just, um, just a little bit. Then I am going to decorate them up with, um, just, um, I have, I've been throwing a bunch of my, um, snips when I've been working on things. I've just been throwing them in and that bunny cute. I have some cards I'll. I'm going to share with you guys about that little bunny, but, um, I just been throwing them into this little basket and then I've been trying to use those up, um, for little projects like this, just because, um, I don't know. I think it's fun to do that. So what I have so far, um, I have a couple of these, uh, Tim Holtz photo booth images and I trimmed them out. I inked the edges and then I crumpled them and then inked over um, with some vintage photo and then I rubbed it off, but it kind of gives it this little vintage um, distressed kind of look like it's been in someone's pocket. And I love that. This one I was a little too aggressive with and it actually ripped, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna keep, I when I make these, I make one for myself as well and then I keep I keep one. Um, but I, I was a little aggressive when I, crumpled it and it just snapped, but that's okay. Cause I'll glue it down and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and I'll keep this one, but still it just, you know, kind of adds to that little vintage flair. So those are my images. And then I will do some kind of a sentiment, just not really sure at this point what that is going to be, but I'll get there. So I was just pulling out some of these little off cuts of lace. And, um, so I've got this one. And I think I want to add that. And then I want her to kind of go that way. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. So I've got my hot glue because I'll use, I think I'm going to use hot glue to glue down my little uh, photo. Um, and then I'll just use fabric glue. Oops, for the fabric layers or the lace layers. And that will go there. And then I have, I thought I, yeah, I do. I have a little bit of <clears throat> pink cheesecloth in here. I think. I think it's a double, it's a double layer. Ah, there we go. I think I might put a little bit of that down. Oh, 
style like that. And then we're just gonna use hot glue to glue down the little photo booth picture. Give it a second. Oh, I think that's cute. I love that. Okay. And then on this one, I've got um, some lace that's going to go down. I do like this little cheesecloth, so I think I'll put a piece of that down here as well. As well for her, too. I love making these. I think they're so much fun to do. And I think it's fun to make one um, that kind of coordinates with... Um, so and uh, we're doing a swap with a little file folder journal. And so I thought, oh, this would be fun to kind of coordinate this with the papers that are in the little journal that I'm, that I'm working on. Aren't those cute? I love that. I think that looks so sweet. Okay, and I love distressing those little images. Um, this, I had thoughts of possibly putting like a tab or something. I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if I might use... Um, let's see what we have here. I have so many, I have so many Prima flowers. I just don't, I don't use them very much anymore. <clears throat> Not that I never use them. I just don't, I just don't, I don't know. I don't pull for them very much. I don't grab for them. I do not grab for them very much these days. Um... That's actually really pretty. That pulls in the colors. Um, and then, let's see. You know, we're going to use them because I want to use my stash up. So it's a good way to use our supplies. Okay. Okay. Then, let's see. I feel like. My stomach's growling. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not, but whoo. to figure out some kind of a, a 
Um, some kind of a sentiment or something. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and glue down the flowers. Okay, get a new glue stick. Oh. And then, oops, let's cover that up. All right, and then this one. Sorry guys, I'm like, allergies are so bad this year and um, my nose is plugged up. Okay, so then I wonder if we were to do something with, um, I have one sitting here. <clears throat> pin or something. Yeah. So I was kind of thinking that I might do a little, like a little snippet thing, but it wasn't looking right. And so, um, I'm not going to do that, but I did think <clears throat> I want to put some kind of a, um, I don't know if I want to just glue a couple buttons on. <clears throat> okay, I got my other glasses on. <clears throat> Gosh, guys, excuse me. Let's see. love this mother of pearl buckle. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> I want to use that like on the cover of a journal, I think, and have it be the closure. That would be so pretty. I always wonder like what these were on and what the garment looked like and especially when they have all the old threads in them. Just love that stuff. Okay, and then I feel like maybe I should put one maybe underneath there. I like that. And then I have a small one. <clears throat> a smaller one, like a tinier one. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> so, now I know my glue is going to make some, I'll have some glue coming up through that, but it's okay because it kind of, if you don't put too much, it kind of just comes up and kind of looks pretty cool actually. I don't mind, like I don't mind that the glue shows coming up through the little buttonholes, but if it bothers you, you could not do that. Sometimes what I like to do is I'll take a little bit of glitter and put them over the top as well. Here we 
too. Oh yeah, I like that. That's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so then let's add some buttons <coughs> to this one. Oh, that's a sweet little button. Get that little one. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, do that and then we'll put one more. Oh, look at that one. I love that one. It's like a really nice weight to it too. Oh, so party. Um, let's see. I feel like I need like a bigger one over here. Yeah. I feel like that needs to be grounded a little bit though. Maybe little piece of lace there might do it yeah okay excellent <clears throat> okay Perfect. <clears throat> okay, nice. All right. Very cool. Okay, I like those. Those look good. Okay, and then the only other thing I thought of doing is possibly like a word sticker, maybe. Um, but I don't know how, I don't know how I feel about that. Now I've got, <clears throat> so I have some of these vintage um, Rolodex, vintage Rolodex V files and I love them. You can smush them up. You can lay them totally flat. You can get tons in here. And so these are just so cool. So this is mine and it will live inside here. I need to, um, but it'll go in like so. And isn't it fun? But these are all swaps that I've done with um, my friends. And so I love it. So yeah, very, very fun. So that is another card I get to add to my little Rolodex. So I think it turned out really sweet. And then I'll put my, I'll put the date on the back, but love it. And then this is the one I'm going to send off. So I think they turned out super, super sweet. And I, I think I'm right. Yeah. I just kind of feel like I'm going to leave it alone. Um, I don't know that I'm going to put anything on there or not. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it. But I really like how they came out. And I loved distressing those little photo booth uh, images from Tim Holtz because I think that turned out really, really cool. So, okay, guys, another project done. Yay. So hopefully by Friday of this week, which today is, what is today? Today's Wednesday. So hopefully by Friday I can... Um, have my little finished product, um, my little finished project um, done for you. And then I also have one more thing to make. I'm going to make a pouch um, that the little journal is going to go into. And then I'm going to work on some packaging as well. So kind of depending on how the timing goes for that, I might share with you how I create the pouch. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, we'll definitely be back to share some more with you soon. Okay. I'll talk with you soon. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.